Hello families, uh, my name is Donna Lopez. I'm the literacy coach that supports grades K1 and 2 at PS 295 and PS 124 in District 15. Today I want to talk to you about pronouncing letter sounds correctly. It's really important to pronounce our letter sounds correctly because when kids start blending sounds together to read words, if the sound that they believe the letter is is incorrect, then it'll become even more difficult for them to blend those sounds to create words. Um, there are categories of letter sounds that I'm going to go through with you in this series of videos. And the first are stop sounds. Stop sounds are sounds that are more like puffs of air. Uh, they're not continuous and stop sounds are very tricky for for kids because they often add uh, a schwa at the end. Now a schwa is just that uh sound that you'll hear at the end of a letter and it's very common with the letters uh, B, C, D, G, J, K, P, and T. So you might hear your children say, when, when they're saying the sound of the letter P, for example, instead of saying P, they may add that schwa at the end and pronounce it as P. Now you can imagine how difficult it would be to put together uh, the sounds in a word like pat if they don't understand that the P sound is actually P and the next sound would be A. If they believe that the sound of the P is P, then you can imagine them blending the sounds of that word to be P at. And we really want to uh, correct that when we hear children say that. So let's go over the correct sounds for the stop sound letters. So B, the correct sound would be now, what you can do is have kids put their hand in front of their mouth and stop the sound when they hear the puff of air. They don't want anything to come after that puff of air. So instead of saying B, they would go B, feel that puff of air. And that's all of this that the sound is. Let's try it with the next letter. P, the correct sound would be You also can make sure that when they're articulating the sounds, they're putting their lips together to make that puff. So watch me. Puff. Okay? Um, it's, it's hard even for me to eliminate that schwa, but what we really want to do is reduce it as much as possible. Okay. And I'll do these two together. So when you're making the hard C, and the K sound, it's the same sound. So K, cat, is the same as K, kite. And again, we're looking for a puff of air. We're not looking for the sound K. J would be J, J. G, the hard G, would be G, not G. G. D for dog would be D. D. And T for top is T. Again, when you practice the letter sound review in my earlier video, if you hear your children adding a schwa to those stop sound letters, you'll want to pause the video and correct that and go over that with them again. All right, see you later.